Firstly, before I start, I'd like to give a big thank you to 482 Solutions, uh, who arranged our visit here today. So they've been an important technology partner for us for research and development. So thank you very much. So the vision is that I can just pick up my smartphone, go on a Facebook type app, go on a Netflix type app, play a video game, or go on a conference call, and in the background, I am benefiting from blockchain technology. So of course, everyone here today is very interested in knowing how does blockchain work, what is it for, but going forward in the future, there should be almost an expectation that there is some element of blockchain technology working in the background during our day-to-day -day lives. So that's how we've got here today. So how can a Facebook type app utilize blockchain technology to enhance privacy and data security? How can a, a Dropbox type app utilize blockchain to more efficiently distribute files and more securely? Blockchain needs a bit of help. It can't do it alone. So what we have done is that we have mixed blockchain nodes with streaming nodes, database nodes, all together integrated into one platform for app developers. So now app, now app developers have every component needed to power their app. So there's storage for secure uh, data storage of any type of file, streaming for chat and for video conferencing calls and movies. We got the database layer to better and more securely organize the data of the app. And then at its core, we have the blockchain layer. And the blockchain can still do everything that we've seen blockchain do. But now when you mix it together with the other layers, its greatest utility becomes data transactions. It allows you to better store and manage your data. So blockchain has some problems. It can be not scalable, slow, with a data size limit. If you throw too much data at a blockchain, it can slow down and bloat a network. But when you integrate blockchain with all the other layers, you start to solve these problems. So an app developer shouldn't need to worry about how they're going to connect blockchain to storage, or how they're going to connect blockchain to a database. To code on blockchain costs money and takes a lot of time. Also, if an app developer just connects blockchain to a centralized storage or a centralized database, then privacy and data security could be compromised. So app developers should just be worried about developing their apps and connecting it through an API gateway in any language. And that is what we have done. So for a public platform, the consensus gets quite interesting when you add these other extra distributed and decentralized layers. So if you imagine everyone here in the audience is a contributor to our public platform, you all own blockchain nodes. Um, and some of you own storage nodes, some of you own streaming nodes. And then the network will more likely select you for blockchain transaction services if you have more wealth and age. The, the network will more likely select you for storage services if you can provide the right storage size and have a good reputation for providing storage. The network will more likely select you for data streaming if you can provide good quality internet bandwidth. And then there are the verifier nodes. You can think of them like the organizers here at the event. They will keep checking to make sure that you're performing properly, that you haven't gone offline or that you're not malicious. And if you are, you'll be quickly swapped 
with the person sitting next to you and you would leave the network. And then all these are combined to give you a score, a reputation. So if you've provided good service, you'll be more likely chosen for another service, for another app, and then you're rewarded income accordingly. So let's say we de deploy a private platform for a government. Any type of app can sit vertically on top to make use of the network. And because we have cross-chain transactions, the platform can talk to other platforms. So you could have a government department, and each one has its own platform. So you can see how, how it can be organized. Also, an app might choose to use public storage, um, or might just choose to use the, the private blockchain, or public streaming. So there's many different combinations you can have. So when you open up uh, the use of blockchain beyond value transactions, and now have data transactions, there's a lot more that you can do with it. Smart contracts. So smart contracts is basically a function box with a decision tree. It gives outputs based on inputs. Smart contracts can, be, can slow down and bloat a network because they usually they are on-chain. So what we have done is put smart contracts off-chain onto our storage layer. So that solves that problem. Another issue with smart contracts, because they are on-chain, if there is a bug or they're, they're not working properly, you could potentially, for a business, lose money. So there's many examples where businesses have lost money because of malfunctioning smart contracts. So what we'll be doing is creating a consensus where you can change the function box halfway through a contract. So our smart, uh, we're calling it super contracts, and it'll be available at the end of the year. So what can you do with our platform? So to start, we've started building our own apps. So we have a KYC app. So you can imagine if, if I'm a user and I'm uploading my passport, the passport gets sharded into many pieces, broken into many pieces. And each piece is encrypted, and that is sent to all the storage nodes. So if you have a storage node and you have my passport, you can't view it because it's encrypted. And even if you were able to decrypt it, it's just useless bits of sharded information. So there's nothing you can do with it. So you can start to see how privacy and data security can be enhanced. And then if I want to retrieve my passport, I just use my private key. Similar concept happening in the background. We have a Dropbox type app that we've released. Um, sorry, this is an office suite. So it's got Microsoft, PowerPoint, Excel. And you can do real time collab collaborate, collaboration. A Dropbox type app to securely share your files. A Vault app to securely store your passwords and important information. Note taking app for hack proof note taking. A forms app that's currently under construction. And we've done a CSD, Central Securities Depository. So we're finalizing this. And it is that it's um, an important component for STOs. So we have a couple of exchanges that want to use our CSD. And then how are our customers using our platform? We have the UAE government. So for them, we have developed a notarization application and a voting application. And we have deployed a private network for them. So we have a, a group of Proxmax developers working now full time with the UAE government, placing more applications onto their platform. An e-commerce business that uses it to track logistics, integrate their e-wallet for rewards and payments, a supply chain business using it to track alcohol. Sports streaming, so they're using it as for the data streaming 
and for their own tokenomics. A movie streaming platform, so they're using our data streaming layer and the blockchain. An HR platform to more securely store sensitive HR data. An educational platform to more uh, efficiently distribute education material and reward students and teachers with tokens. A gaming platform, so it will connect gamers directly to the, the game developers. And you can exchange your game credits, the points that you gain in the game, for a stable coin that we have. A health app to more securely distribute patients' data, health data, medical records. There's a fiat wallet, so not crypto, but fiat. So, um, and that's to more securely make transactions and store the wallet data. And an energy company that's using it to create a carbon credits trading platform. So you can see that there's a lot of different types of apps you can create when you have all these different layers. So it's really only limited to your imagination. Okay, thank you.